this is Victor. I'm here with a new showcase, and now, now it's time to share with you Warhammer Underworld. So, this is the Beastman Warband from Warhammer Underworld Beast Grave. It's a Warband of six uh, models where you have the leader that is this guy that have this elf or Kurnot head on him, and then I put some blood effects on the axe. If you want to know how he was painted, I did a tutorial on him uh, on the channel and then we have uh, these guys, these small guys that are the the, well, the beastman and the shaman okay, it's quite a nice warband to paint, I really enjoyed at the end, I was a little bit not to yeah, not a lot in the mood or inspired to paint them, but I think once I start painting them I really enjoyed I think they have some nice details. I went for this is the first time I tried to do obsidian weapons on them. So the 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 arrow, or the, we say the, the edge of the arrow, and the lances, and some of the knives are made of obsidian to give this type of rustic look, primitive look. And then uh, yeah, I play a lot with leather colors and uh, quite earthy colors. The only thing that is more on red is the blood and then uh, I did the green tabards to give a little bit of variation. I did not want to go for again for red tabards because I think I have a lot of my barbers with red tabards so I want to do something different. Uh, I'm quite happy how they look like and again if you want to know exactly how the, um, the leader was painted I did a tutorial in my channel where you can follow the paint job on him and you can see how he is painted. Uh, not much to say here, uh, I hope now you enjoy, again the bases are also trying to simulate the, the central north European um, uh, forest where it's quite green, humid, this is why I went for this dark um, earth and then oh, quite a lot of green there and then I'm quite happy at the end with the results and then I also play with the different um, skin tones so you can see some are much lighter like this one and then I went for darker skin tones on, on them just to give a little bit of variation and make them more interesting so yeah I will make no pictures so you will see more details of the different guys as the, uh, the tutorial is only focused on the big guy with the axe but as well I did in my channel I explain how I do the fur of this guy one of these guys, okay, how I do this uh, brown fur, how I do the skin tone, the medium tone, okay, the one here, so this is the one from the tutorial. Okay, and I also did another tutorial explaining how I do these obsidian um, lances or weapons. So, that's all for now. Please give a like if you have liked it, let me know what do you think about the paint job, about the idea of making obsidian weapons. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you later. Bye!